What happened to the girl who sets her watch 10 minutes fast? Oh, yeah, well, it didn't work today. Oh. You know what that means, no employee of the month status. I guess Dad's gonna take that title yet again. Maybe I don't deserve any awards anyway. Oh, I don't certainly buy that at all. You know, I have to say that, um, you know, I, I, feel, I feel really lucky. I think things are going good, you know? I mean, I've got you as, as a great friend. Lizzie, she's, she's my girl. And, uh, yeah, I'm doing okay. You know what, if you care about him as much as you say you do, you won't want to say anything to hurt him. Why torture him over a silly, meaningless kiss? Yeah, you're really, really lucky. Greetings, Elle. Hi, Quinn. How are you? How's uh, Scoop? How's the penthouse? I mean, your place, your new place. It's great. We got that figured out, though, right? Of course we did. Now's come the time to show me how grateful you are. So, how about buying me some dinner? <laughs> how about I let you buy me dinner? Oh, that's right. I forgot you're poor. You think we can go someplace a little bit more private? You know maybe? what? See, I'd be flattered if I didn't think you were just trying to get me away from your boo. Are you embarrassed of me or something? I will. Hello, Jeffrey. Gosh, you got a minute? <sighs> Actually, you know, I've had a pretty, uh, pretty long night. Yeah, I guess you're going to be in for a lot of long nights, aren't you? I mean, you're, you're going to start sleeping alone again, right? You know. Yeah, uh, do you mean, uh, do I know about the fact that you pretended to be Richard for so long, or that you sprung Dinah from prison, or that Cassie never knew anything about any of that because you never bothered to tell her? Cassie told you all that? Let's just say we found out at the same time. Hey! Oh, jeez! Did you forget your keys? No, my hands were full. <laughs> Oh, thank you. That Tammy really is a good influence on you. Hey, who said that wasn't my idea? Yeah. Right. All my idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you put a lot on the line for us, and Tammy and I, we are grateful, so... I don't have a lot of supporters out there. Well, you're my son. And you're stuck with me, and I'm stuck with you. Stop it. You'll make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Tammy's mother feels the same way about her. She's over at the farmhouse right now, trying to see if she can patch things up, but you don't think so. I wish, I really do wish, that I could say that Cassie's ready to accept you two together, but... I didn't think so either. Tammy really wants it, though. I know. But I think that Cassie really believes she's saving her daughter's life by keeping you two apart. Well, people believe a lot of crazy things, but uh, as far as all this goes, I wouldn't sweat it. Leave Cassie to me. Hi, Mom. Honey, what are you doing here? I thought since Jonathan was cleared of the arson charges, that maybe we could, I don't know, at least talk. I'd like to. Look, Mom, the three of us got off to a bad start. We all made mistakes. But there has to be some kind of way that we can start over. Honey, I wish we could start over. But there has been nothing but trouble since Jonathan came into our lives. He's changing, Mom. No, no he's, he's not. Honey, he is not changing. Not unless you think going from arson to blackmail is a positive change. Blackmail? Yeah. You think John is blackmailing someone? Yeah, I think Jonathan's blackmailing someone. I think he's blackmailing me.
Here, I got you something for being such a cad. Might help you with your lies. It's a purse from that store that you tell everyone you work at. Even the price tag surprised even me. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. So, can we eat now? Because I'm starving. Besides, it's cold. Okay, okay, listen. You've got to be good. Oh, aren't I always good? Huh, no. Come on. Oh, no, great. What's up now? She's here. <laughs> Hi, Ava. Hello, Ava. Hey, Lizzie. Thought I heard your voice. Hey, Coop, I missed you. Oh, oh. since this morning? Uh -huh. Scooper. Finn? Boys. Oh, I need to get that. Hello? <clears throat> so, I love the new place. Thanks. Really must have saved a bundle on ceilings. And walls, too. And kind of gotten a beat on that whole let's it's summer, let's eat outside thing. It's really smart business thinking. Yeah, well, you know, we, uh, we try. I suppose business must be booming, or else how else could you afford some of Lizzie's expensive tastes? Well, I'd have to say it's because of tips from generous patrons like yourself. That and the fact that I've taken on some uh, side assassin work. Oh my gosh, that guy is so annoying. Quinn, please, he's harmless. Annoying, but harmless. You really think? You think so? I'm not so sure. How are you going to handle Cassie? She wants you in jail, remember? Well, maybe she learned her lesson. You know how it is with moms and their kids. <laughs> yes. yeah. Tammy goes over there, spends some time with mommy. And little by little, she starts to come around. You know how it yeah. goes. Yeah, why do I get the feeling you're not telling me everything? Hey, maybe I feel like things are going to turn out OK for once. You know? <laughs> Check it out. This is me looking hopeful, huh? It's scary. I know, yeah, it's very scary. I know you don't get to see it very often, but now that me and Tammy are a thing and we're out there, and I don't know, I feel like, uh, Things might be looking up. And things might be looking up for you, too, Reef. I'm fine. I'm doing OK. Come on. You got to be over the sleeping by yourself thing by now. <laughs> there is a guy out there waiting for you, Reva. Yeah. Well, I'm not looking. You're not? Are you? Are you talking about my old pal, Joshua? You know what? That's none of your business. Hey, if you want Josh back, you better get the lead out, lady. Excuse me? I have my problems with Josh, but if you have your heart set on hooking back up with the guy, well, then, hell, that's what I want, too. I just want you to be happy. I think it's a long shot. Mm-hmm. The way I see things going with Annie O, I felt like Josh kind of moved on. I don't know, I saw them at the Beacon the other day. They were getting pretty hot now. Oh, you know what? Please. Olivia has never let go of the idea of Joshua. And he needed a distraction. That's all. If you say so. I say so. Thanks for the vote of confidence, though. Where are you going? Uh, I just remember that I have to uh, get down to those shops on Main Street while they're still open. Tell Tammy thanks for the flowers. Reba. <laughs> no. I'll talk to you later. Hey. Hey. Jonathan is blackmailing you? Yeah. Is that so surprising? When Jonathan wants something and he wants you, don't you think he'll do whatever he has to do to get it? Lie, cheat, threaten? You must have backed him into a corner somehow. Honey, I told him what I always tell him, the truth. I told him that he's bad for you and that I won't stand by and watch while he ruins your life. So you made him feel like there was no chance. Like, there's no hope for us to get along. Like, I had to choose. You do have to choose, honey. You get to choose. You get to choose between the wonderful, happy life that you are capable of, or the dark, twisted, complicated existence stop you Stop it! Stop it! <sighs> what could Jonathan possibly be blackmailing you with? Jonathan found some information about Jeffrey that he thought would be painful. 
and he's threatening to tell the whole world to destroy my relationship with Jeffrey. You're just making this up. I am not making this up. You're desperate for me to doubt him, to hurt me. Honey, I want to help you. Jonathan is trying to hurt me. And so far, he's doing a, a pretty good job of it. Jeffrey is staying at the Beacon tonight. What? Well, turns out Jonathan was right. There are things I didn't know about Jeffrey. Things he didn't want me to know. And once he finally admitted it all, I, you kicked him out? Honey, the ugly truth is that you are with a blackmailer and I am with a liar. So I guess the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? So what's your story, Josh? Misery loves company? No, that's not really my style. I, I just want the people I care about to be happy. Yeah, I get the picture. How long have you known, Josh? Well, Jeffrey, it's not really about what I know or how long I've known. It's about what you did and how long you've been lying about it. I mean, really, you've been with Cassie for quite a while now. You never once thought about coming clean with her? Oh, yeah, I thought about it. And yet you kept your mouth shut. <sighs> Jeffrey, uh, I, I didn't start asking questions about you because I was looking for trouble. And, and Edmund is certainly the last man on the planet that I would want to believe about anything. But for once, it seems he got his facts straight. If you say so, you hurt Cassie. Cassie's hurt right now because someone else got to her No, first. you hurt Cassie. But she's strong, she'll get over it, she'll get on with her life. And my guess is that in the end, she'll be happy that she's not wasted her whole life on someone who's lied to her from day one. Well, it's about time. You decided what you want? You know what I would love, 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 love is for Ava to get a life. Or at least a good hobby. Mmm, feeling threatened, huh? Oh, please. I mean, she's just a distraction. I wish there was something to distract her. You know how many friends I owe you any favors, do you? You mean you want me to set her up? Well, I mean, she's pretty. I feel like that type. She's a waitress. I mean, she's a hot waitress, but she's a waitress all the same. I mean, one night stand, maybe. But my friends won't date out of their bracket. I mean, it just doesn't work socially. Uh, yes, it does. Ava, what are you not saying? Nothing. Nothing. It's just, you know, <laughs> I don't uh, want to tell you because I don't want to hurt you. Only, I don't want to watch you get hurt by not knowing, so... What? Not... Ava, not knowing what? Whatever is on your mind, please just spill it. There's nothing to spill. Lizzie and I just have a different idea and way of treating a guy we love. Maybe it was a mistake for me to come here. No, it wasn't. Because now you can go to Jonathan and you can ask him about our little chat. And when you do, I want you to watch his eyes. Ask him about how he broke in here. He came here to get me my teddy bear. Was he looking for your teddy bear when he broke into Josh's room? Ask him about what he was digging around for there and why he came here to tell me all about it and what a good time he had doing it. When you do that, honey, don't take your eyes off of him. You'll get some answers. You'll know if I'm just making this up or not. Maybe then you'll, you'll realize what kind of a man he really is. I take it you're not staying for dinner. So take care and drive safely. Mom! Honey, I need to get dinner on the table for your little brother. I know you like things nice and simple, Josh. Good guys and bad guys, but my life is a little more complicated than that. Yes, I've noticed. You know, with such a narrow view, you run the risk of being disappointed with a lot of people a lot of the time. But I'm going to tell you something. Cassie and I, we're going to work through this. We're not finished, far from it. 
You know what? This is none of my business, oh. is it? Oh, none of you, but now, now you realize that. Cassie can make up her own mind, I'm sure. Nothing and no one, including you, is going to keep me away from Cassie. This conversation is over. Whatever you say. Yeah, whatever I say. And what I say is Cassie is going to accept what I've had to do in my life because she knows that I love her. And I will do whatever it takes to protect her and what we have together. You played Richard for a long time, didn't you? What's your point, Josh? Well, just now, I felt like I was talking to Edmund. Olivia! Eva! Oh, let me guess. You are buying your way into someone's heart, and I'm guessing it's Josh's. No, 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 wrong guess. Actually, this is for you. Me? Yeah, let's call it a, um, a consolation prize. Big waste of time. I agree. Hey, what? What did your mom say? Don't you mean what did you do? To us? That's the real question here. About what I was saying about Lizzie. Listen, wait, 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 okay? Let me just take a crack at it here. She's incredibly insecure, or, or she's usually trying to play everybody she possibly can, or she's not above lying when she needs to. Let me guess, is that about covered? Yeah, that about covers it. Thanks, Ava. Look, I understand what you're trying to do here. I get it. You're trying to look out for me. But if you just knew Lizzie and everything that she'd been through, you would understand why sometimes I don't mind what, if I have to... Lay, lay on the ground and let her walk all over you? No. I was going to say appreciate her for who she is. All right, Ava, look, I'm no choir boy myself. All right, Lizzie has not had a very easy life, especially growing up. Oh, growing up with more money than money can buy? And living in a huge billion-dollar mansion? I would not wish growing up in that family on anyone, not even my worst enemy. You mean that? I'm not saying that all the bad stuff happened there. But when Lizzie's parents split up, her mother started dating this guy. He was a bit abusive, so Lizzie confronted him. She shot him. What? All right, soon after that, Lizzie beat leukemia. Soon after that, her father tried to have her kidnapped. Okay. Then she found her father murdered by her grandfather, who is still out there, God knows where right now, with my brother-in-law. And you know what? We don't even know if they're still alive. I had no idea. Right. Well, you know what? That's Lizzie's life. Just some of the highlights, at least. There's more? <sighs> Ava, all I'm saying is that sometimes Lizzie doesn't make the best decisions. Is she the perfect girlfriend? No. She's not. But she's my girlfriend. All right? And I certainly will take all the bad just as long as all the good comes with it. Okay. Um, you know, you seem really happy together. And who am I to judge that? a friend we can hook Ava up with? No, I don't. You're welcome, though. For what? The present. Enjoy it. So have you decided? I mean, where's your friend Thurston Howell III going? Oh, well, he's not really a friend. I mean, not like a, a real friend like you or, or Tammy or Cook, just kind of like an acquaintance. Why am I talking about him? Why don't I talk about Ava, my new friend, my real friend? Me? Yes, um, I want to thank you for everything you've done for Coop, and we really appreciate you being here in town and being here at company, and so I got you a little something. You what? Well, with my store discount, I just wanted you to know how much we appreciate you. Never let it be said I'm not a gracious winner. So you won't be offended if I tell you where you can put that? Oh, come on. You could do better than that. I have better things to do with my time than mud wrestle with you, Olivia. I am so glad to hear that. No one wants you to get a life more than me. So you have a clear shot at Josh? The only reason I have a shot at him is because you gave him away. 
That's how you see it. <sighs> Hello, ladies. Boy, we have got to stop meeting like this, really. Hi. Reva needs some clarification. She doesn't understand why you're spending so much time with me. She thinks I put a spell on you. Oh, no, no. It was nothing quite that dramatic. Um, let's see. I asked her out, and she said yes. There must be some mistake. Or a misunderstanding or something. You wouldn't do something to deliberately make things worse for us. I know that. What are you talking about? You and my mom. Oh. She said some horrible things. Like what? She said that you tried to destroy her and Jeffrey to keep her from coming between us. What else? She said you tried blackmailing her, that you, you dug up dirt on Jeffrey, and that you loved rubbing her face in whatever it is you found out about him. That, that can't be true. No, Tammy. No what? No, it is true. I did all those things to your mom. And I would do them again. I'll do anything I have to to make sure that we can be together. I'm proud of you. High five. <laughs> All right, time to head upstairs, wash up, brush your teeth, and I'll come up in a minute and tuck you in, OK? All right, Mom. Scoot. reminded me of you. I hope you like it. Lizzie, that was very sweet of you. No, Ava's a sweetheart. And, you know, I just wanted you to know how much we appreciate you. Uh, hold that thought for just a second. We've got a customer. I'll be right back, okay? Oh, it's fine. Go ahead. We're fine. Uh, I don't know what to say. Wait, I love it'll do, but then you'd have to look it first. I will, Lizzie. Uh, Ava. Uh, you know, you can wait. Coop needs you. Well, thanks in advance. No, thank you for being such a great friend. And really, Coop and I are very lucky to have you in our lives. You asked Olivia out on a date? This seems to be hard for you to absorb. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Reba, it's not like I'm hiding anything. You want to know, you know. Are you forgetting who this is? Did you get hit on the head or replaced by a pod person? No, Reba, it's me, good old Joshua. Well, then you know you're making the biggest mistake of your life since the first time you married her. You know, let me give you two a moment. Be over here. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Just because we're not together doesn't mean that I want to watch you fall off a cliff. Yeah, but what's the worst thing that could happen here, huh? What, you think uh, Olivia and I, we might get serious about each other again? Yeah, I might give over my heart to her and then she'll stomp all over it again? Or uh, let's go to worst case scenario, okay? Let's say you and I really do split up. Uh, I propose to Olivia, she accepts my proposal, and we get married. And then, at some point down the road, she says to me, you know what, Josh, this really isn't going to work out too good because uh, you're not enough for me and you will never be enough for me. I'm sorry that was you, wasn't it? You know, Reva, believe it or not, I might be enough for someone. You're more than enough. Well, how about this? What, what if uh, Olivia says to me, I really don't know what I want or need out of life, okay. but I know it's not you. Okay. You think that might okay. happen? Okay. 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 Or, this or what if she were me. to say to me, uh, Josh, you know, I, I don't want to be with you, but I really uh, don't like seeing you with anyone else. Is that what you're worried about? You think that might happen? But don't. I need you to back off, okay, and let me live my life. You turned your back on me. This is where we are now. 
is it, Joshua? Is this where we have to be? Cassie, uh... uh... Tammy was here. Did you tell her what Jonathan did? Yeah, I had to. Well, that must have been tough. Are you all right? Uh, what did she say? Well, she said she couldn't believe it. But I think she can. I could see it in her face. So either she'll finally learn the truth about Jonathan or she'll just hate me even more. Well, you did what you had to do. Yeah, but was I right? Is it worth breaking her heart? I don't know. I guess the truth hurts. Doesn't it? Cassie. I want you to know that I... I am trying. I'm trying really hard. To... Forgive me, but you can't. I, well, I'm just trying to let go, to get past what you did. It's, uh, it's too hard, right? It's like whiplash. Yeah. Except where I'm hurt is a little lower. And the pain goes a lot deeper. You went after my mom? After everything that she's been through? Well, what, what about what we've been through? Just stop and think. I'm trying to. But did your mom tell you that she pushed me to it? Did she tell you what she was saying? I don't care. I don't care what she was saying. I don't care what she was doing right now. I just care about what you did. OK, look, your mom doesn't ever give up on a point. You know that, right? So if there was a chance if we were going to have a chance at this... I had to threaten her. With threats that you'd be happy to back up. I threatened her, yeah. Would I be willing to back it up? Sure. Only if she pushed it. Tammy... <sighs> Look. I'll fight for what I want. I'll fight dirty if I have to. It's just me. This is the guy you say you fell in love with. If I didn't love you, this would be easy. I don't like the way things have gone with your mom either, but I'm not gonna let her or anybody else stand in my way when it comes to being with you. It is. It's not going to change. That's who I am. That's it. This is the guy who loves you. I love you, Jonathan. I love you. This is getting harder and harder. What are you asking me? I'm back. Is everything okay? I don't know. Uh, do you want to finish that thought, Raymond? No. Not now. I just hope you guys have a nice night. But you were about to say... Um... I was about to say that... Um... I hope you have a nice date, and from now on, I'll be sure to stay out of your way. Take care. You too. Good night, Olivia. Bye-bye. Wow, that last-minute rush from the movie theater was something I didn't expect. <laughs> yeah. Made some nice tips. Well, when the movie's good. Oh, speaking of unexpected, um... Yeah, uh, did I mention that Lizzie likes to buy gifts for people that she likes? Yeah, well... Just open it up, see what it is. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's way too generous. Probably, but just try and stop her. <laughs> no way! Oh, my...
my gosh, this is just gorgeous. It, it, it is so expensive. Coop. Wow. Well, I mean, she said she got her employee discount on it, so. This is more than I make in a week here in tips. Okay, so what are you, you going to do? Are you going to take it back, trade it in? Well, yeah, I'm going to take it back. I mean, they exchange it for something less expensive and have them credit Lizzie's account. Okay. Um, tell you what, um, if you don't mind, I'd like to go with you. I mean, Lizzie never lets me come visit her at work, so this would give me an excuse to surprise her. Yeah? So, um, where's your friend? Running late, I guess. Oh. How's Coop? Still slaving away? Yeah, he's hanging out with our new best friend, Ava. I mm. took your advice. And the Godfather's, I guess, but, um, I made her my new best pal on the planet. Well, that's a smart move, girlie. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, I wish we could hook her up with someone that would make life so much easier. You mean your life easier? Well, yeah, that's what I meant, my life. <laughs> In fact, for a while, I figured I could get you to ask her out. Me? You're joking, right? Why not? Well, because I like to think I'm already taken. Ah, uh, we're friends, Quinn. That's right, friends. Friendly friends. We're friends, close friends, friends with benefits, right? Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> friends, <laughs> special friends. Special. Mm -hmm. mm. Friends with benefits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's the beginning, you know. All right, see you later, friend. Maybe there is nothing else to say. Maybe we should just leave it at that for tonight. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go to bed. Listen, Jonathan, um, I know this is not what you want to hear right now. And I wish I had the right words to say it. Say what? I can't go let on. Her... I can take it. I can't let her go, Jonathan. I need my mom in my life. So we have to figure out some way to make this work. Some way to make her see what I see so that she comes around. Okay. What's the plan? I don't know yet. <sighs> Please, just tell me that you understand. Please tell me that you get it, okay? Just, that's all I need to hear. Please. I just want us to end up together. That's all. Just believe.